Hi everyone and welcome to my studio. I'm Diane and today we're going to paint a cute little chickadee sitting amongst some pretty pink blossoms. So let's get started. Now when I did the uh, trial for this, the, uh, the taster, I uh, felt afterwards that I'd drawn the bird um, too elongated. So this time I'm going to make sure that I start with a very circular shape and just pop his little head on top and then his, his little beak because he's very round and then I also felt as if I'd made his legs a bit too short and uh, so I'm going to make those a bit longer and then we're going to have the branch coming down like this roughly And he's got a, a dark area there around his neck and the wings and his eye. Okay, so I'm going to put in the eye first. And then I'm going to switch to a bigger brush. That was a tiny brush. Um, this one, I think, which is a size number five, because this is a fairly small painting. And I'm just picking up some black. This is um, Intense Black by Old Holland. So there's that and then there's this little area, <clears throat> this triangle of black there under the chin of the bird. And then I'm going to then now switch to something slightly bigger, which is a number seven. And I'm going to take some Potter's Pink. So Schminker Potter's Pink. And I'm just going to drop a little bit of that in around the outside edge there and then I'm going to, I guess I didn't mention I was going to use Naples yellow for the centre there and just a tiny touch of Naples yellow in the area that's actually quite white and then we'll go back to the black just drop a little bit of black in there for the wing let it bleed a bit and then the tail is also on the black side. Okay, so let that dry and go on to the um, to the twig. So we said we would make a green from quinacridone and black. So we just drop in a nice. green twig and then what I like to do to give a sense of three-dimensionality I mix a little bit more darker green and I just go along the bottom edge and just touch it in like that and that will spread into the whole thing and give you some shadows and so on I don't need to do any more than that And sometimes that's all you need is just just that. But for this one, I think we're going to have a few more bits of branch coming out. And then we're going to put the blossom. So a bigger brush again, um, this is an 11, and I think I'm going to just drop some random splashes of water 
again. I'm going to pick up some of this lovely pink. Got an acrodone pink. And then some green. Maybe a little bit more on the yellow side. And maybe a little bit more shadow under here, perhaps. And I'm going to grab my um, sword liner and just drop in some connecting lines. And that's not quite dry yet. But we'll take a chance. I'm just going to drop a tiny little bit of blue in for the shadow. And emphasize the pink there. And we need our small brush for the beak again. And then we need to go underneath the eye. And then the feet, legs. And I'm going to just drop a little bit more red, pink, quinacridone pink, into the flowers. and then we'll let it dry. So there's the final painting and I hope you enjoyed watching me paint this today and I hope you give it a try. It's a lovely little picture and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this afternoon, please give me a like and subscribe. It really does help. So I look forward to seeing you here again soon and I'll say bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.